Okay. Miss Steve and Lisa's house. We just got done putting this crown molding in. It hasn't been painted. It's a little uh, dingy look of it. When we paint it, it'll really pop. As you can tell, we're not, they're just butt jointed there because we're not putting 45s on these. We're actually coping out. I'll show you how better to get over here. You'll see we've actually cut this profile and it's gonna match right up against that. This way when the building contracts and expands, you don't get gaps in your crown molding. It stays nice and pretty. If you 45 it, it's for amateurs. All right, and we've caulked most of it. You can see where we haven't caulked. You got these, these gaps. But as you go down, you can see we've caulked the rest of it. But this is the second room we've done today. And uh, you can't even see the joint on that side. That wall is over 16 feet. You can't even see the wall, the joint. And we got all the trim painted yesterday, the, wall, the, the uh, window trim. So we'll get this... Uh, crown molding up today originally we were going to paint this uh paint the walls we didn't know we we're putting crown in so that's why there's tape up there we're not even going to take the tape down we're just going to put the crown over it but uh this was a uh, hey by the way let's put crown molding in here so uh that's the crown molding and it is done perfect